Hi, I'm Lessa Logan. I'm here at my Pilates studio. I'm back with another collaboration, The Struggle is Real, Snake and Twist. Okay, who asked for this? The Struggle is Real, Snake and Twist. Um, this is a really difficult exercise for me, and um, yeah, so I'm going to briefly show you kind of where I'm at and what it is. Um, please know that it won't be as beautiful as maybe yours is, and I'm gonna, but you might even feel like it's a struggle. But what I am gonna tell you after I show it to you is what you can do to make it less of a struggle, and I'll talk about a lot of the things that I do to actually get ready for it. So one spring, foot bar down. Some people like to put a sticky pad on the foot bar. You can also do this with the foot bar up, but if the struggle is real with the foot bar down, it's going to be really real with the foot bar up, okay? So um, you're going to come on, and I take my foot at an angle because my legs are both going to be turned out, so it'll be something that's more um, aligned in my hip. And you put one hand on the front and one hand on your shoulder rest. Keep the carriage in and come up. And this foot is not hooked on this one. It's up. And then you have to really think about your upstretch and lift your ribs up. Now... A lot of people have a struggle here because they push with their arms. Don't do it. Push with your leg that you're standing on and keep your arms kind of under you. So this is an 80 inch reformer, but when I fully extend, I don't even hit the wheels, right? And then I lift my ribs up and I come all the way in. I'll do that again. So I push with my leg and then my body goes and the carriage just goes with my body. So I'm not letting the carriage get all the way away from me which makes it easier to go out in it. And when you do your twist, don't worry about doing it photogenically. It's not very pretty. Um, you push about halfway up. It can get pretty eventually, and you twist. And for me, that's my twist today. So could I lower my hips and then look all the way out the door? <laughs> totally. And it would be a beautiful picture, but I would be disconnected completely. So... That is essentially the snake and twist. There is a one-arm snake, um, which I'll show you another day in another video. Um, to be honest, I love the one-arm snake, and I'm actually much better at that than, than the snake and twist um, on its own. But one of the reasons why this is such a struggle for me and a lot of people is we don't use a standing leg very much. And I struggle with hyperextended extension in my joints, both my knees and my elbows. So I really have to stand in that leg, press out with it to find that extension. A lot of people are arm centric and they use their arms. So if you were doing, like last week we talked about the struggle is real long stretch series. If you're really arm centric in that series, this is going to suck, right? That whole series will help you do snake and twist, I promise you, but it can't be an arm series for you. It has to be a body series, it has to be a seat and center series. So really focus on your transition into your upstretch and your upstretch and upstretch combo. If you can really own that using your legs and your seat and connecting to these ribs, snake and twist is gonna be so easy. But let's say that um, the long stretch series is something you're still working on. Definitely work on your stomach massage, work on pushing your feet into that foot bar, and connecting to your foot bar and your stomach massage on the way in as well. Then I would also practice your side splits on here, learning to stand in both legs and reach out and lift your center up to close the spring. Not making an inner thigh exercise, but lifting your center up to close the spring and rooting down through your legs simultaneously. It's gonna make it a lot easier to stand on this leg and your snake and twist. I also would practice this on the floor, <laughs> like literally like as if you were on the mat and just go out into a plank and up. So if you have push-up devices or some way of setting your hands up and just going out and in without the moving apparatus, it's gonna make it a lot easier. But let's also uh, take you over to the wooded chair and you can do your pull-ups and your side pull-ups. Um, those will be on a top bottom spring. Those will absolutely help you. You can also take one leg out to the side and practice being on just one leg. It's gonna be really helpful. The big twist or the twist teaser on top of the window chair is absolutely your snake, 100%. So have fun practicing that. Um, side sit up on your ladder barrel are going to be very helpful in you getting a little more side strength. Your side kicks and your kneeling side kicks on the mat are totally going to help you connect more and more to your seat. But boomerang is actually going to be really quite effective. If you can learn to keep yourself together in your boomerang, 
it's gonna get really good. What I will say about the snake and twist as far as the struggle being real, this is one of those exercises where to get better at it, it's gonna get ugly first and um, you may not practice it as much as you practice other things and then come back and check and see how you're doing. So using it as a barometer for how the rest of your life practice is going, not necessarily as the goal or as the thing you do over and over again. Like, like I could do, if I need to practice elephant, I could practice elephant, it's not gonna kill me and I can get better at it in the session, right? But practicing snake and twist, you have a few good ones and then you really just have to move on and then go somewhere else in the room and practice one of those things I suggested. Okay, um, I hope that helps you make the struggle less real on your snake and twist. Have a little fun with it. Don't let the character get away from you. Make sure you subscribe to both Andrea and my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our series. Um, every single week we have a collab based on your request. So comment below with the requests you have and we'll get a video out for you in the following weeks. Thank you so much.